Uh, hi everybody, my name is Auni El Kerzon. I am from Northern Illinois University. I hope you are familiar with this university. Uh, and I represent in Northern Illinois. I came many times to Istanbul and uh, I was supposed to be there uh, this spring, but as you know, the coronavirus and uh, what is happening right now in the world, hope I can meet you in person in, in October. Uh, so this is Northern Illinois University and uh, we are uh, we are close to Chicago, like it is almost like 65 miles away from Chicago. I think everybody is familiar with Chicago. Uh, 65 miles, it means that you can drive one hour to Chicago and also sometimes you can take the train. Uh, the campus is very huge. Uh, it's a huge campus and it is like seven, five, six acres. And we have like almost six, 64 major buildings. And we have different branches also in Illinois. And they are close to the main campus. We have one in Hoffman State, one Naperville, Rockford and Oregon. Uh, like, but if you come here, you will study only in the main campus. Uh, the place is really like safe. It is one of the safest campuses in United States. Uh, and it's called like, it is a university town. It is a university town where it is peaceful and it's good for you to study here. As you know, in the map here, it is like here we, we are. Uh, if you look at the cab, you'll find out the cab over here on the map. Uh, Northern Illinois University has been established in 1895. 1895. And it has seven degree granting colleges, 57 undergraduate majors, and 71 minors. We have 80 graduate programs with 54 specializations. The total enrollment now it is around 20,000 students. And we have international students like almost now like 1,500. We have some Turkish students here on campus, many uh, students from Turkey finished, graduated, and went back to Turkey. And right now they are working in different companies and universities. They work as teachers and they are everywhere. Maybe one day we will, we will they just get someone, an alumni, and he can come and talk or she can come and talk to you. So these are the um, seven colleges we have. We have the College of Business, College of Education, College of Engineering and Engineering Technology, uh, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, College of Health and Human Sciences, College of Visual and Performing Arts, and the College of Law. We are very famous for the College of Business comes like we have programs that rank we can say eight 15 or 20 nationwide uh, and we have an international reputation for our college of business especially in accounting especially like also in finance uh, we have now new field which is called digital marketing the same thing about the College of Engineering also. We have many fields, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, technology also. We have now a new one, which is called biomedical engineering. And I encourage everyone to, uh, like, if you want, we'll talk about it later. If you want to stay in the United States, you can select 
one of the engineering branches. Uh, we have also the computer science. So there is difference between engineering technology and computer science. Computer science is much better than in, uh, College of Engineering. Uh, I mean, the College of Technology Engineering. Why? Because many people come here, uh, get into computer science, and they really get a good chance of staying in the United States, getting the green card and getting the citizenship out of computer science. It is a very important major. We have the College of Liberal Arts, uh, Human Sciences, Performing, uh, arts and college of law college of law i don't advise anyone to join law in the united states why because it's going to take from you eight or nine years because you cannot finish your high secondary school and join the college of law you need to study one bachelor degree like business like education or engineering or sciences and then join the college of law so you are not permitted to join the College of Law. So it takes four years plus four years, which is too much for you. Uh, the College of Business, we have almost all majors. Accountancy, business administration, finance, management. We have a good one of leadership and management, human resource man uh, management. We have the marketing, as I told you, we have also a new one, which is called digital marketing, which is now required. It is in big demand in market. I mean, like when you finish digital marketing, you will find immediately you find a job. And we have the operations and information, information management also. So in the graduate, we have accounting, accounting taxation, managing the information system, it, which is very good business administration also uh, we have the facet track and sometimes like you can make a double degree of the mba program so here appears the college of business the college of education is good too and has a good reputation in the united states we have almost all majors of college of education but you have to keep something or one thing in mind if you want to study, if you want to stay in the, in the United States, don't go for education. If you want to go back to Turkey, uh, live in Turkey, yes, education is really good. And we have many Turkish students who came here, finished education, and went back to Turkey. And really, uh, they really got nice jobs in, in Turkey. Uh, we have, as I, as I told you, we have all majors, uh, even we have like a sport management also. Many students ask me about sport management. Yes, we have it. Uh, we have curriculum and instruction, education and administration. We have the educational psychology, foundation of education. We have school business management also. Uh, the literacy education, special and early education, which is on big demand uh, one important thing now a days which is important if you link it to the coronavirus and how it has become important we call it the educational technology research and assessment uh, the specialization in instructional technology it teaches you how to use technology in education and it helps you how to do online programs, how to teach online, how to administer online. So nowadays it is on big demand. It, show, it gives you the skills of using online technology, the e-learning. What I mean is e-learning. Also, we have the adult and higher education, counseling, counseling education, and supervision. I like the college of education because really the people there are open-minded. I love them because I, I did my PhD in the College of Education, in higher education, and I love the people over there. They are very helpful. We have also the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. We have the Communication Studies. 
uh, we have the media studies, organizational corporate communication, we have economics, English also, but in English, if you want to complete your master's degree or PhD, you need to do the GRE. They are very strict about it. In other majors, later on we'll talk about it, they sometimes waiver the GRE for you, but not in the English department. One important one is also environmental studies, which has a very good future too. Uh, we have also the French, German, Spanish language and literature translation and business. We have history, journalism. Uh, we have also uh, this, the political science. Political science, many people come for political science also. But if, again, if you want to study political science, you, had a, you will have here in the United States, even if you don't join my university, if you go to any university and you study political science, uh, you will not have a good chance of staying in the United States after you finish. You need to go back. They focus only more on like uh, like engineering, uh, more in medicine, uh, computer science, but not on political science. We have the psychology also and the sociology department. We have the anthropology, biological sciences, chemistry and biochemistry, uh, community leadership and civic engagement. Uh, in computer science, you have these things, the software development, enterprise software, and computational software. Uh, I think everyone heard about uh, something called uh, artificial intelligence, which is the future, by the way. It is the future. That's why I encourage anyone who has the, uh, what I can say, the passion to study computer science, to go for, for it immediately without any hesitation because it is going to be the future, especially with artificial intelligence, which is going to be, you know, in big demand in the market day by day, year by year. We have also physics. Uh, we have mathematical sciences, uh, geography, uh, geology and environmental geosciences. So here is the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Here is the College of Engineering and Engineering Technology, and it is uh, really known in the United States. Uh, electrical engineering is important. Electrical and computer engineering is very important. Biomedical engineering, it's a new one in the university. And anyone nowadays in biomedical will have a job immediately. Industrial system engineering, uh, mechanical engineering too, uh, and we have the technology one. We have the nuclear engineering, for example, industrial management, energy and environment technology, aviation management technology, uh, electrical engineering technology. So these are very important fields very important fields and this helps you in staying if you want to stay and also the college of engineering they are really helpful in providing scholarships if you get accepted if you get the admission people will help you a lot in getting a scholarship and what is good about them once you finish your bachelor degree in the college of engineering you have a big chance of getting a full scholarship in your master's degree. You will get scholarships in your undergraduate. It's not going to be full, but it will cover a lot. It will cover a lot from your tuition. We'll talk about it also in the later on. Here is the College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. We have, I think, one professor. He's from Turkey, I remember. Yeah, there is a professor. He is from Turkey. 
College of Health and Human Sciences. And nowadays, there is big demand on people who finished, you know, from the College of Health and Human Sciences. Uh, we have, like, you can say most of the majors in the College of Health and Human Sciences. It's a good college, and everyone who finishes from here gets a job. All people. So here is the study here, especially at NIU. As I told you, like NIU is a public university. It's a government university. So we are being supported by the government. So you don't need to worry about accreditation. Why? Because it's a public university and it's considered as uh, the second largest in Illinois. So one of the one of the most like largest universities in in the United States. Uh, NIU is considered as a public university, so you can say like we call it a governmental university. So we can also we have the College of Visual and Performing Arts, uh, Art, Art and Design Education, Art History, Music studio art and theater also if you are uh, if you want to be an actor you can if you want to be a model if you want to be a musician you can join our university too it's really fun okay the college of law as i told you i don't advise any international student to join the College of Law for undergraduate. Maybe if you finish your bachelor degree in uh, Turkey and come here for the master degree, it's fine. It's good. But don't come here for the bachelor degree for the College of Law because it will take like eight or nine years for you. It means that it's too much. It's really too much for you. We have centers also, like the Center for Latino and Latin American Studies. Uh, these centers help you in understanding other cultures because always we try to make students uh, interact with other cultures, interact with Latino students, interact with American students. Uh, we try to like bridge the gap, as you know, because here you will be having, you know, you are, you are coming to a new culture. I know that you are familiar with uh, United States. You are watching CNN, for example. You are watching American movies, Hollywood. You, are, you know many things, but still the living experience is different. So why we have these centers? To make you fami more familiar with the different cultures. As you know that America is a multicultural society so that's why we try to make you you know interact with the with the students here with the community so it is not you'll not only be uh, with with the students no we will open the doors for you to interact with the community also and we'll guide you how to interact with the community uh, with the people uh, with centers here. Uh, so they are, you'll find the people, how they are helpful and how they are friendly to you. So it is the Center for South East Asian Studies. And all the time we get students from outside. They come to the university and they present their culture in order to make the people, you know, familiar with other cultures. We have the ELS Language Center. Uh, the ELS Language Center is important. Why it's important? Because suppose that you are unable to score uh, the, the TOEFL or the IELTS. So we have the ELS that you can study for one year, language for one year, and then you'll be admitted to the university. You can study also, sometimes you will study for six months. It depends on your level. 
So when you come here, they will, you will take an exam and they will see your level. If your level is really advanced one, you might take three months, four months, six months. So, so it depends on your level. So if you don't know English, there's no problem. We'll provide you with the center. The center will uh, teach you English. And after finishing one year, you will be eligible to get admitted to uh, the university. And this is open for all, for all, like for undergraduate and the graduate for, I mean, for the bachelor, for the master's degree and for the PhD. So if you don't know English, you don't need to worry. We have our own center that will teach you English. And after that, you will be joining the university. You will get the admission at the university. We have many students from China, from Saudi Arabia, from the Middle East. And so you don't have any, you don't have, you don't need to worry about a uh, language. But if you score the TOEFL, it's much better for you because you are going to save from six to one year, at least from, you know, from your studies. The tuition and fees. Now, for the undergraduate, estimation of cost is 22,000 for tuition, uh, 11,000 almost for living expenses. So the total will be from 30, like around 30. Here they are, we are putting 34, but it will be around 30. Anyhow, we give like a scholarships. The scholarships, like it is around, like we can say 9,000. So here, so the tuition you will be paying, you'll, you'll be in paying like 12,000 or 13,000 a year. And the living expenses, it depends on your lifestyle. You can live with 7,000 or 8,000. So the total amount you will be in need of is only 20 or 22,000 US dollars. I know if you uh, transform them into the lira, it will be a huge amount, but in all over the United States, you will find that the average is 35 to 40. And other universities, it will cost you 60 to 70,000 US dollars. But because we are non-profit organization, we are non-profit university. So we try to make the fees like down for you. So the living expenses will be with the tuition, with everything, it will be around 20 to 22 because we'll give you scholarships. We have like we have the merit scholarship. We'll give it to you. Uh, we have other scholarships. We have like almost like 400 scholarships. Some students in the second year they get full scholarship. But when you are here, you will be applying to these 400 scholarships. So we'll give you from the university. We'll give you nine thousand, and then you will be applying to other scholarships. So this will go down maybe to ten thousand. You never know. I know many students who got like full scholarships, full scholarships. They did not pay anything. The same thing about the graduate estimation of cost. It will be around like 27,000. If the student gets a scholarship like a graduate assistantship, it will be full covering of the life over here. You don't need to pay anything. Uh, so this is uh, NIU, and I can send you the how to, if you are interested, you will have uh, my email, you can take my email and contact number, and then I can send you the link for the application. And here is the, uh, the link for the graduate application. Eligibility is very simple. What we need is your uh, high secondary school certificate. And we need the TOEFL to be, for the undergraduate, to be uh, 71. In IELTS, we need to have your score six. That's it. So what we need is two things, your high secondary school and 
the English proficiency test, which is called TOEFL or IELTS. In TOEFL, you need to get 71. In IELTS, you need to get six. It's for the undergraduate, for the bachelor degree. For the graduate, you need to have your bachelor degree, uh, GRE or GMAT. The GRE or GMAT, you can contact the department, will help you in that, and they will waiver it for you. Hopefully, they will waiver it for you. But in TOEFL, it has to be 80. In IELTS, it has to be 6.5. Anyhow, if you don't know English, again, don't worry. We have the center here. It will help you in getting the, you know, the English language, and then after that, the admission. The admission deadlines, it is May 1st. I don't know if there is now any extension of it. We'll try to get for fall, it is May 1st. For spring, it is October 1st. If you are in the United States, like I think all of you are in, the, in Turkey, it's June 15 and November 15. Anyhow, if there is anyone who is interested, let me know and we can talk about the deadline. So as I told you about the scholarship, we have the many scholarships. We have like 400 scholarships and sometimes students get full scholarship, full scholarship. Here's the students and faculty, as I told you, they are very friendly. Everyone is open-minded. Everyone is helpful here. Here is the main campus of our university. It's a huge one. And it is the fo football stadium. Again, because we are considered as Division One, we are Division One, so we have a huge stadium. These are the halls, the Williston Hall. This is the library, the Holm Student Center. These are where you are going to take your classes. These are the residence hall. If you wish to stay in this hall. We have also the buses are running around 24 hours almost, take you from one college to another, comfortable, is not crowded, is really good. Activities, we have the recreation center, is available for you all the time. We have many national labs over here also. We, these are the, the people who are going to help you. So this is just a brief briefing about, about NIU. So if you have any question, please. If you have any question. Hello. Hi, we are here. Hi. So, yeah, uh, I'm done with the presentation. Please, if you have any question, please let me know. Yeah, let's wait for a few moments uh, to see if there is any questions. Because sure. sometimes people can be shy a little. Oh, yeah. Don't be, feel shy. No problem. <laughs> I understand. I used to, I used to be like this. <laughs> I'm trying to take a picture. Okay. So shall I answer by like talking to them they can yeah. hear me right you can talk with them they can yeah. respond in chat okay so yeah i i mentioned about 100 percent scholarship it's right absolutely right maybe sometimes some students just come for the first year but 
partial uh, partial scholarship will be given from uh, upon getting the admission will give you almost like 9000 US dollars so the tuition will go down to 11000 so in the second year many students got 100% scholarship many students the requirements is it's very simple for undergraduate we need your secondary school you finish your secondary school and english the english the toefl is 71 or uh, the ielts is six if you don't know english we have center that will teach you english it takes from six months to one year so two things the high secondary school and the english proficiency which is toefl and the yeah the gpa is uh, like it's 2.5 I think many people like it's not that difficult for you. We care more about the English proficiency, the TOEFL or the IELTS. So the GPA 2.5 is fine. I don't know how is in Turkey you calculate it, maybe 60 or 65, I don't know. And I saw many people who got followed. I know that this, the, this scholarship question is important. You know, when you come, once you are here, when you are involved with the, with the teachers, professors, also you can work. They will provide you with like permission to work uh, on campus. So many things to help. As I told you also, we have 400 scholarships. Even if you don't get this full scholarship, you have many scholarships. It means that sometimes you they will make writing an essay. You will get 2,000, 3,000 US dollars. Uh, so 400 scholarships. Many, like most of the students get uh, scholarships from here. The good thing is about it is also you don't need to worry because it's a public university. It's a public university, it's a government university, a huge one. So you don't feel to worry about accreditation because many people like they are afraid to go to smaller colleges or universities. Uh, we don't have this as we have many Turkish students who finished from here. Any other questions, please? Don't feel shy, it's fine. That's fine, yeah, I think if they ask in Turkish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have one question. In, oh yeah, you are saying to them, ask in Turkish, that's okay. By the way, my name is Avni, it is a Turkish name. Avni, it's a Turkish name. Where are you from originally? I'm uh, from Palestine. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's why my name is Avni. It is a Turkish. Yeah, we have <laughs> and I look, and I look Turkish. You know, when I come to Turkey, people like start speaking to me in Turkish. When I <laughs> said to them, when I said to them, I don't know, they get surprised. Like, 
Oh, really? You don't know? So, they, they, they think that I'm Turkish. Ah, that's good, you know. I yeah, love to be there. Turkish look. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> so, I'm not a stranger in Turkey. No, no. Yeah. Um, guys, that's... you can ask your questions. Please do not be shy. Arkadaşlar, sorularınız varsa sorabilirsiniz. Şu an tam zamanı. You still have like uh, five, six minutes. So yeah. if you want to add anything else, you can. Yeah, sure. Like here, I'm saying like uh, many people will ask about staying in the United States. Uh, don't don't worry about the presence of a Trump. I hope that he's not going going to be re-elected again. Uh, some people will ask about like how staying in the United States, United States after finishing. So if you want to think about staying here and getting the green card and the citizenship, you need to select the major that helps you. Because as I told you, like if you finish education, if you finish like political science, English, these things will not help you to stay in the United States. Think about something like STEM, like in science and in computer. I'm always asking students to join computer science, uh, engineering, like me mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, technology, biomedical engineering, because the Department of State has a list of majors that this list helps students to stay in the United States. It will be easy for you to find a job. But if you finish education, it will be difficult for you because we have many graduates who feel like many people who finished, you know, uh, education. So we have a question for the transport issue. I don't mean, I don't understand for the transport issue. Transport issue. Transport, do you mean transportation? Oh, yes, we have. There is no problem. Oh, yes, the buses are available all the time. Like, for example, also, if you stay in the library late at night, you have a number. You just you will call them. They will come to you. Take. You, you don't need to have a car. There is no need to have a car. No need at all. Although cars here are cheap, but you don't need to have a car because buses are running, like you can say, 24 hours for you. And it will be free of a charge. You don't need to pay for that. They are not crowded. They are clean. They are nice. And they are friendly. Drivers are friendly. And they will be running around like every 15, 20 minutes. You will have a bus coming to you, uh, to your places. Yeah, you don't need a car. As I told you also, how we take care of our students. If you go to the library and if you stay at night, you are late, you just call them. They will come to you and pick you up and take you to your residence. You don't need to have a car. Everything is available for you. And they are they run like almost like 24 hours. You are most welcome. That's great. Um, I have a question. Sure. Um, how about the food? You know, Turkish people, I mean, they are kind of picky about food. So what do you yeah. think? You know, uh, I'm from the Middle East. Like our food is almost like Turkish. Our food is almost like Turkish food. Yeah. We have also the halal food. Like, I mean, if you are concerned about uh, halal or meat or chicken, whatever, we have Middle Eastern, uh, you know, uh, restaurants here. We have which makes uh, shawarma, which makes mm, something you are familiar with. Uh, so food, you don't have any problem. Also, and if 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 they if they live in the Durham, they will provide you with food also. So you'll have uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So there is no problem about food regarding the Turkish people. Is it possible to transfer to another university from Turkish university? Yes, there's no problem. You can transfer. 
Joe, just send your uh, transcript. Your first of all, your high secondary school certificate, your transcript, and uh, we'll take care. You can, we can transfer you to Northern Illinois University. There is no problem in transferring. We accept like almost all uh, Turkish universities. There is no problem. Well, great. I think there is no more questions. Okay. Uh, do you want to add something else and wrap up? Oh, thank you so much. I think uh, here is the, you know, the information about NIU. Uh, if you have any further question, like you can give them my email, my contact, and they can reply to them. It means that sometimes now they don't have any question. Maybe when they go home, they think maybe they feel some feel shy about asking questions. Yeah. I'm ready to answer to them any question they want. Just send to me by email or whatever, and I will answer to them any question. There is Great. no problem. Can you type your email in the chat box? So sure, 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 sure. Here is my email. So here is my email. Please contact me and I will be more than happy to help you. Awesome. Thanks a lot for participating, Auni. It was great Thank to have you. Thank you so much for hosting me. Thank you for having me. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.